Hey what is up there everybody welcome back to another YouTube video it's Hero here and today I'm gonna show you how to get Hawkeye's power and Hawkeye's arrow here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Right now before we start before we get right into the video you know the drills give a like this video if you do like this video also hit the subscribe button right now down below and slap that notification bell like and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff. But now let's go right into it and let's get started. Alright, as you can see, we have here a lot of structure block and all the structure blocks has its variety of commands. So it has its variety of power from Hawkeye's abilities. So we're gonna do this step by step and reconciling and loading all the commands from each um, structure block. And for our first structure block we have here. So the first thing we're gonna do is load the thing out. So we're gonna put the eagle underscore i which is one of the abilities. So it's not really comic accurate or movie accurate but um, this one is just some sort of add-on abilities that I put for or Hawkeye in this command block. So in this command, we're actually going to set all these um, coordinates and blocks. So all we're going to do is zero put, like put this Y to 0 and put the X to 0 and put the Z to 1. And able to uh, reconcile or load this command and there we go. So I just press load and we have here our eagle eye abilities for Hawkeye. So the thing we have to do is break the structure block and of course grab a bow since the bow is one of the main weapons or actually the main weapons of Hawkeye. So we're gonna have to put a lever so you don't actually have to put a lever since you already put since I already put it to always active and as you can see every time I hold a bow as you can see my vision get zoomed like 10 times um, stronger and 10 times faster. I mean look at this it's like holding a scopa. But for me, this is better than a spyglass since a spyglass has actually an outline or some sort of frame. So there's actually like a disadvantage in times of a widespread vision. Since I mean, check this, uh, check the difference between the eagle eye and also the spyglass. So we have here a wide, like a wide vision at all and very zoom. While if you try spyglass, actually, um, it has some sort of outline or the frames, just um block things out which um limit your vision actually i mean look at this but anyhow this power is not comic accurate nor movie accurate but yeah it's still pretty good if we like put like some sort of superpowers or at least an eagle eye for um hawkeye in this one so we'll just rename it into eagle eye and yeah so this is the first command block which is our actually repeating command so let's grab your own command block and just First, before I'm going to show you the commands, let's put our tag, which actually we're going to need to tag ourselves into Hawkeye. So tag at a name equals Hawkeye. So put your own username first and add add the main um the main tag. And there we go. And let me put a lever in this part. And click that on just once and there we go. And for our eagle eye command, so let me turn the thing up. And for our eagle eye command, we have here the ancient at the tag goes Hawkeye, then close bracket and end breaking. Repeat actual and the rest zone, and we have here a rest into parter and under our command block, we put effect at the Hawkeye slowness 3000 space 100 and true. So this one actually gives the supervision for Hawkeye, but the um, downward this one is actually give you slowness effect. So you can see, look at this effect. It's like some sort of infinite, infinite effects for slowness. And this one is gonna affect the um slowness which actually um nullify all the effects which clear all the effects so we have your resting uh, torch which is very important whenever you turn on or activate this one it's actually turn off the command which uh, take all the effects so you can have the supervision and next up we have here another structure block here in minecraft and let me uh, load this thing up so i have to press the load and put the rename load um load blacks which actually we rename it to grappling so it's called grappling bow and there we go so we don't see it but if i load it there we go destroy so let's just destroy the structure block for now and we have here the very easy command which i shall test for at the type of arrow so let me put it to always active and as you can see this power is very simple it's just grapple you in a slow mo time so basically the inner pearl is much more better in this one but yeah let's just not like ruin the surprise or ruin the fun in this one 
So this one is just like a grappling hook, but I actually put it like a slowness effect to make it a little much more realistic because I don't want it like TP some sort of like like a rip of ender pearl. So just like that, that's, that's a perfect turn. So you can actually use this as combo with the um, supervision of the eagle eye and the grappling hook. As you can see, it's pretty cool if, I, if you want to try it in your own world. And let me do it like this so you can actually side out, which is very, like, pretty cool actually. Like we have a very long vision and yeah. I think it's time to show you the commands guys. But this is actually taking a real long time. Alright, for our commands here we have your test for at E type cause arrow. So let me put it first to need redstone since these are repeating commands, right? And let me break this one. And let me put this one. So we have your test for at E type cause arrow and close bracket. So this one is gonna put to repeat actual and always active. It depends on you if you wanna put it to always active or if you wanna put leverness. We put her resting key partner and this one we put execute at the tag goes Hawkeye. 3 arrow TP at S3 arrow 0.2 facing at the tag goes arrow comma to uh, I mean comma C equals one close bracket. Okay. And we put it this command for at least at least repeat actual and always active. No. It's actual need redstone again. I'm so sorry about that. And we're gonna load the next gadget. So we have here actually at least I think which one? So there's actually an ice bow, an auto aim, and he like fire bow. So first let's go to the auto aim. So let me set this one since I actually put it to save. Put it to load and load this one up. There we go. So I actually messed up from the coordinates, but anyhow, this is actually gonna work too. And for this command, I think it's pretty obvious that it's actually an auto aim since you can actually read it since I loaded from a structure black. So this is like an auto aim command as you can see. So let me put this one. It's actually a need right so we can we can just put like some sort of lever in this one so we, we might don't want to mess up so if we try it out you don't have to aim the enemy so you actually just out to aim so yeah basically it's like a cheat here in minecraft and yeah so you hope to do a shot an arrow so it doesn't it doesn't actually kill multiple mobs at the same arrow or the same time in one arrow so that would be pretty much more op so it's just gonna kill one mobs at a time as you can see let me shoot it like that and let me put this husk in here and shoot far away like we're off like very off at the aim so we can still kill it like one hit kill all right let me show you guys the commands first we have your test for at least that was arrow so let me turn this one off we have your resin compartor and a resin repeater so we have your three models piled up with the chain commands we have your repeating command which is actually gonna put execute at a type plus arrow Close bracket, 3 tilde TP, 3 arrow, 1 facing at 8 tag, exclamation mark, hog eye, comma type because exclamation arrow, comma, then put the item into C equals 1. And this one actually get pre executed at E type cos arrow, 3 tilde kill at E type cos arrow, I mean exclamation arrow, comma C equals 1. So pretty much all, this actually gonna make the auto aim command for any mobs nearby, at least to register one though. So you can actually set it. So let's kill the arrow to remove the lag so yeah it's put chain actual and always active and for this command let me load it up so we can use any kind of um gadgets that we have here but let me choose the fireball for this one so let me put fireball and set the uh, coordinates up of the blocks and load it up all right so let me press the load so let me just do it like this as you can see we have here the commands so remove the structure block and as you can see we put this for the type was hard so it's already always active though and this two command blocks is the main like green of this command so let me try this one out so as you can see every time you shoot an arrow there's actually a fire came out from the arrow all right it's time to test this one out and as you can see it can literally like create fire out from the bow and destroy any structure blocks which is pretty much more op i would say that it's pretty good for trolling your friends though and in terms of mobs you don't actually need to hit them so all to do is hit them right to its foot or from a near blocks just like this and it can actually set them to fire so pretty much all this arrow is pretty annoying and like pretty risky to do in your own world so you better try it first in the flat world because this command can destroy your house not gonna lie all right it's time to show you the command so put test for at the type cause arrow so put it to repeat actual and always active okay 
So as you can see, it actually have the same first command block for any of this part. So you put redstone and repeater, and put execute at E tab plus arrow, three tilde field, two tilde one, then four tilde fire zero destroy, and post actual and you redstone. Restore, uh, restore repeater in here and this part is gonna kill the arrow so we're gonna put this one into impulse uncontrol and need redstone okay all right moving on to our next command and we have your d ice flow so let me put this one to one and put the white into zero boom and there we have it so let's put it look let's, let's press the load and as you can see, it's a pretty long command. So we have a repeating command. So we add our repeating command, actually just a test for. So let me set it to like always active and put this one to need redstone. All right, so the ice bow doesn't actually freeze any mobs, but they actually give slowness effect to mobs and turn the uh, structures into ice. As you can see, actually like four by four blocks. Just the floor though. The only effects into the mobs is it gives slowness effect. Which is actually pretty good for Hawkeye since you can actually like you can properly aim to the mobs. So it will only freeze the blocks underneath the mobs and give any mobs or any target into slowness effect. It's not that good and I'm actually thinking of creating like an arrow that can freeze in, in mobs that would that would be like pretty much more hyperbolic since it's not comic accurate already. And that would make no sense. Alright, it's time to show you guys the command. So first we have your test for at the type Kosaro, repeat actual and always active. And we have here a resin comparator and a resin repeater. Alright, so in this impulse command we actually have a very long command. So you can see we put slash execute at the type close arrow, three till the field, till the one, till the negative one, till the one space, till the negative one, and all of the for the rest is all negative one. So you put ice zero destroy, which actually just gonna freeze the floor. We're gonna freeze like the blocks below the target. So that's actually pretty cool actually. So you put here a slowness effect. So we actually have 10 to true slowness effect for any target. So pretty much all it actually gives a much more easier or steadier target to aim. And we put it to impulse and crucial and the rest zone. And this one is we have another impulse. We actually just can kill the arrow since we don't need it. So it's gonna prevent all the lags. Alright, for our next command block here, so let me set or load all the commands up. So this is one of the basic commands, so it actually give an explosive or a bomb detonator to the arrow, which is actually pretty cool if I say so, it's actually pretty OP, you can actually just one hit kill, and it has a massive widespread damage actually, just like a shotgun. So as you can see, if I shot it up, you don't, have, you don't actually need to um, hit your enemy, so you can just be off aim, so as you can see, you can just shoot it out, and it can create a massive explosion against the enemies. So if I spawn multiple enemies at the same time and shoot one arrow, so let's see the effects. So as, as you can see, uh, every time I hit an arrow, it actually give a big massive widespread except for the one since it actually ran out. So as you can see, you don't actually need to hit the mob, so you just have to hit it right to the ground. And this one, you actually put test for at the type cause arrow, which is pretty much more obvious in this video. So you put repeat, uncontrol, and you rest down. Comparator and repeater, command block which is an impulse, we put execute at the type cause arrow, trade all the simon inter underscore crystal to the minecraft crystal underscore explode to make the simon inter crystal to explode. So in this impulse command, just gonna kill the uh, arrow which is pretty much more obvious, just like I said. And this one is actually a pretty cool command. And this one is one of the basic command which is our last command. So we actually put lightning underscore bow, so that is our last um last um the last item or the last weapon that hawk i have so pretty much all as you can see okay hawk i doesn't actually have any lightning bow since that would be like thor but hawk i does have like some sort of electric arrow or some sort of like 
phaser arrows as you can see from the movie of Agent Ultron. If you didn't notice in the movie, he actually tranquilized, or I mean tranquilized, he actually tased like Wanda using his um using his like tasing bow with some like came out some sort of electric. So this one we don't actually have some sort of electric here in Minecraft since we only have the lightning bolt. So we'll just have to um keep ourselves for lightning bolt for now. Since look at this, it's actually epic like OP command. You can create fire, just like fire arrow and create a massive ex explosion at the same time so like combination of the explosive arrow and the fire arrow so if you wanna try it you can actually try this um all the commands at the same time that i wouldn't recommend it since it can cause a lag so i don't actually have the ability or the knowledge to create like a switching arrow commands for now so i'm actually testing out using the structure blocks where which you can actually like switch switch weapon and this one is actually uh, pretty obvious in this command so you could test for at the type of arrow and the parter and repeater with a take full take command delay in here and we have an impulse command so you could execute at the type of arrow three to execute at e to radius of three tag exclamation hawk eye so you'll get hit by the lightning three to last human lightning underscore bolt as you can see we already tag ourselves into hawk eye so we don't get hit by the lightning and this one is pretty much more obvious which actually kill at the type of arrow so pretty much all that would be it for a video and I think it's pretty easy to do and most of the arrows and abilities actually doesn't like Hawkeye doesn't possess it especially the eagle eye and the lightning bow so you do have some grapple hook or some sort of you know, like grappling command <laughs> like grappling arrow and explosive arrow and fire arrows and tasing arrows but I don't know about the freezing arrow though and he obviously doesn't have the eagle eye power but anyway guys, I think that'll be it for video today. I do really hope you enjoy our video and if you do like this video, of course, always give a like this video and hit the subscribe button and slap the notification bell icon always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff. You can follow me at my Facebook page, at my uh, TikTok account, and also my Twitter. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace out. Bye-bye. And if you wanted to meet another Marvel or like DC, like DC heroes, you can actually just... Uh, Comment to the section down below which command or which series should I do next. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace out. Bye bye. And see you next time.